no in last lecture we discuss communication one way and two way now next classification is wired or wireless wired is also called as line communication it may be parallel wire communication twisted wire communication coaxial cable communication on optical fiber communication if you observe or see these words the optical fiber coaxial cable these are the physical medium they are physically they are existing so they are called as wired and whenever we have wireless which is also called as space communication in that different communication types are ground wave propagation communication sky wave communication space wave communication and satellite communication now the third classification is classification is analog communication versus digital communication the best example of analog is voice signal our voice signal is analog in nature it is a continuous the waveform is a sine wave sine wave is the example of analog communication so whenever for communication we are using analog signal it is called as analog communication second one is a digital communication the name itself tells you the meaning the information is in terms of digits 1 and 0 one is called as presence of the signal zero is called as absence of the signal one is called as switch is on zero is called as switch is off the best example is computer bits it is a combination of one and zero this is the one diagram which shows analog as well as digital now the base band signals the original signal base band is also called as original signal the signal that we are going to transmitter without changing its any parameter is called as base band an information signal whether it is in analog form or in digital form is known as base band signal in communication system there are two ways of transmitting the information one way is information signal is directly transmitted over the medium and another way is modulate the information with the high frequency wave and sending it to the transmission over the medium if i am talking in class without any mic without any loud speaker it is my voice is original so that original voice is called as base band signal if the distance between me and students is goes on increasing then after a specific limit students are not able to listen my voice because distance is more so at that time my original voice we say also it as a base band signal students can't hear it properly so at that time i have to modulate the signal i have to modulate the original signal so that's at that time i am going to use a mic so modulation is carried out in mic in detail this modulation and demodulation in detail we are going to study so in short you just remember whenever the distance between transmitter and receiver is increases the signal becomes weak and weak and at receiver we are not getting anything so at that time we have to modulate the signal with the high frequency wave and that is called as modulated signal so original signal is a base band and second is the modulated signal another good example just see the diagram or photo in your childhood also i, I think you have this experience just take a cup to connect that cup with a wire and at the end of wire connect another cup now when you will generate voice signal it will be your voice that will directly flow through the medium to another cup 
ट्रांसमिशन टेक्निक्स आर टू बेस बैंड ट्रांसमिशन एंड मॉड्यूलेशन टेक्निक बेस बैंड मीन्स बेस बैंड मीन्स ओरिजिनल सिग्नल वी आर गोइंग टू ट्रांसमिट एंड मॉड्यूलेशन मीन्स वी आर गोइंग टू चेंज इट द इलेक्ट्रिकल इक्वेलेंट ऑफ ओरिजिनल इंफॉर्मेशन इज नोन एज द बेस बैंड सिग्नल The communication system in which the baseband signals are transmitted directly is known as baseband transmission. Baseband transmission is effect effective only for wire communication. Example: telephone network, data communication in computer networks through coaxial cable. But it is inefficient for wireless or radio communication. Now, what are the drawbacks? Number one. Baseband signal have small frequency range. It is from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. It is a unit of frequency. Hertz is the unit of frequency. So no large channel accommodation mixing of signal is possible. Second, due to small frequency range, baseband signal cannot travel over large distance in free space or air. Next, after a travel of short distance signal. it gets suppressed so it is not used for radio communication to make the baseband signal efficient for radio communication we use the technique is called as modulation technique means base baseband signal we are going to change it baseband signal is a low frequency signal we are going to increase its frequency by taking the help of another signal that signal is carrier signal the name of that signal is carrier signal and the process is called as modulation baseband signal is also called as information signal is a low frequency signal and cannot travel over long distances just like we cannot log walk at longer distance so suppose the college and my house is a 1 km distance so it is possible for me from my home to college by walking but if the distance is suppose 5 km from my home to college it is not possible to walk so i will take the help of or i will use my own vehicle so that vehicle is called as a carrier and i will take the help of the carrier signal so in short modulation is the process of superimposing low frequency information signal on high frequency carrier signal modulation technique means modulating signal is suppose one person he can't walk more than 1 or 2 km so he take the help of carrier signal carrier signal is a car we can say and when he sit in car then it becomes modulated signal so modulating signal is the original or original information or base band signal i will take or low frequency signal all have the same meaning just i once again i will repeat modulating signal is also called as original signal it is also called as base band signal it is also called as information signal and it is also called as low frequency signal i will take the help of another signal for modulation which is called as carrier signal and carrier signal is also called as radio frequency signal or high frequency signal and when i will take the help of help of carrier the signal becomes modulated and this technique is called as modulation technique the difference between analog and digital analog communication uses analog signals for communication and digital uses digits analog communication uses signal that can be represented by sine wave and digital communication they are represented in so in 1 and 0 analog communication signals are continuous in nature digital communication signals are discontinuous are or discrete in nature the probability of error in analog is high but in digital it is less analog communication requires complicated hardware but digital requires less complicated hardware analog communication is cheaper but digital is 
costly. Low bandwidth is required for analog, but for digital, high bandwidth is required. High power is required for analog, less power is required for digital. Analog communication systems are portable as they contain heavy and are less portable. Analog communication systems are less portable as they are contain heavy and complicated hardware. Digital communication systems are more portable as compared to analog. The example of analog is sound shows analog signals and the computer data is a digital and all are based on these frequency bands. So, in short today we discuss what is analog communication, what is digital communication, how they are looking like, what is baseband signal, what are different types of transmission techniques, why modulation is required and what is modulation technique and what is the difference between analog and digital signals.